Hey, hey, what is up, guys? Just Josie here, back playing with Jujuzi. Still don't feel right saying that name. But yeah, uh, today we're actually going to hit level 10 and get our third class to make our overall class. And as you can see, I've already leveled up a few levels and I've completed a few quests. But I haven't done any other story quests because I want to save those for the video. I decided overall that's what I'm going to do is do some of the regular quests and whatever quests have to do specifically with the story, I'll do them on video so you don't miss out on anything that adds on to the story. But yeah, let's do this quest here. Oh, and also, I remember saying in the last video I was going to get a mount and try sending it to myself. But the mounts are actually, they, they're they bound to you once you buy them, so you can't send them to someone else. So I bought this mount for Cheshire, but I couldn't send it, so I just kept it with him. I did go all the way to where I needed to be for that, and it's kind of disappointed, but you know, at least now I have a little more here. Let's go ahead and talk to Refugee Jew. Lake Breeze Cave? I don't have time to worry about that hellhole. We've got problems of our own. I'd love to help you, but in the recent schema raid has left our refugee camp in ruins. The Oxian warriors are doing their best to drive off the schemas. Henchmen, but our homes are still burning while they fight. If I promise to direct you to the cave, will you help us? We need to contain this fire before it's too late. Take these water pails and use them to put out the burning tents. There's no sense fighting for our village if the whole plant is burnt to ashes. Ah, that doesn't sound like fun. Um, I'm going to put him away because he's going to die if I don't. One. And let me zoom out because I can't play when I'm that close. Really? Okay, I'm gonna have to kill them first. Yay! Victory! Let's heal up a bit and kill this guy. Oh, this is getting better. Wow. Alright, and with that guy appearing, that means I have to leave. I feel like incredibly weak for the stage that I'm on. Alright, let's make sure that I'm not being followed anymore because I don't want to be attacked. I should probably use these. Uh, this is a new cloth set. Well, from the quest that I completed before. So, let's unwrap these.
And since we're at that, let's just open this one up. Yay. Um, just for the funsies, let's zoom in just a bit and watch how. Oh, I don't like cloth armor. Yeah, I don't like cloth armor. He looks. Uh, whatever. Eventually, I'll get some that are better. Hopefully. Let's just keep on hoping. Our homes may be lost, but at least we stopped the fire from spreading to the surrounding fields. Thank you, stranger. And don't worry, I'll still help you as promised. You're not the first warrior to go looking for the Blake Breeze Cave, you know. But if Grell thinks you're ready, I suppose I can't argue. If you're set on going, take this letter to Ellen in Cloud Rain. She can tell you more about it. Okay. Off to Cloud Rain I go. I love the sound he makes. I need to be careful because in this area, I think the Windlord appears. Not too sure about that. Almost there. Any minute now. Should I read this? I mean, I'm not going to do a voice, so just pretend. Grell sent you? There is a name I haven't heard in many years. Last I heard, he returned from a mysterious voyage and began battling the Schema Necromancers to the east. Difficult work, even for someone of his power. Very well. If the Greymist Great Shaman thinks you're worthy, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. But if everything that's happened, I'm afraid we have no warriors to spare to help you in your quest. Ain't that convenient. Most recently, Warrior Soda entered the Misfiend's lair, hoping to save his friend, Belly. He staked our tribe's honor on his success. Go help him. Hmm. So they can't help me, but I have to help them. Ain't that great. Alright, now my damage should actually be higher because of the armor, I mean, not the armor, my defenses I mean. And I need one more piece to have a full set so I can get the increased regen, which isn't that significant but whatever. Yeah, I think intelligence helps with magic damage. I don't actually know. I should probably look into that at some point. But yeah.
Oh my god. I don't know why I never... I forget that I have a mount, and I just don't need them. There we go. Your warrior Sota, have you faced the mist fiends yet? I did. They filled my bones with a chill, the likes of which I have never felt before. I could barely move, barely breathe. It was all I could do to escape with my life. I never found my friend. Oh, that's sad. If you want to face the mist fiends for yourself, you have my blessing. But this is all I can do. This is all the help I can give you. It's a dormant flame. It can help burn away their deathly chill. It sounds like it doesn't do sh what. Whatever. Let's go. And yeah, maybe I should just take these guys out so I can try leveling up a bit. Actually, yeah, that went a lot better than before. I can't wait to get the new skill because... I'm kind of getting bored of these, to be honest. Normally I play like a warrior class, but I decided to go mage with this one because Cheshire's already a warrior, so... I'm hoping it wasn't a mistake. Are you me? Here is the one. die. They're respawning faster than I expected. Crap, what do I do? Maybe make a run for it, I guess. Oh, 
Uh, this is going to be kind of a long way in. Actually, no, it's right there. Moving on. Now this is just gonna be a repeat of the same over and over. I can already tell. And this is like the best combo that I have right now. So. Aww, he didn't have nothing. Didn't have anything either. Great, thanks. Is that the friend? I don't know. Well, it can't be because. Can it? I don't know how to get up there. If I fall, um, I don't know if this is like one of those moments where you say YOLO and then you go for it and then you can never get out, whatever. Okay. Well, ain't that something? He's kind of strong looking. Gave me something, jerk. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's kind of grim. I completely forgot that orange means that they won't attack me unless I attack them. So I'll just chill here, yell up a bit, and then leave. Because the uh, skeletons from before will attack regardless. So. Alright. There are some interesting enemies right here. I kept looking on to. Huh. 
<laughs> now I'm trying to decide whether or not it's smart for me to drop down or I mean I guess I can go from here Now let me watch where I'm going. Oh, just keep running. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, I can't speed run when in combat. But uh, that's a different story with him. I can't believe it, you killed some of them. Sweet vengeance, and one less horror to haunt us at night. Perhaps if you've thinned their numbers, our warriors can find success as well. Perhaps even I can stay a few more. Perhaps the cold won't be so overwhelming, and the village is safer. Mist demons were summoned by fear and shaman. They were assassins who killed without leaving a trace. Memory showed you that one had been sent after Taiyang in his youth. However, a dark-haired man had saved him. Perhaps the mist demon you now faced was a similar spell gone awry. That was pretty cool. They were dormant in those caves for generations. But lately, they've been restless and hostile. Perhaps all of the undead stirred them up. Or perhaps it has something to do with the Eye of Night. I've heard rumors of an unknown machine on the lake bank. Perhaps it somehow drove the misfiends into violence. Apprentice Shaman Revere had the same thought. Foolish child went to investigate and hasn't been heard from since. To Josie, while we're working on clearing the cave, can you check on Revere and this machine? <laughs> Yeah, it's not like I have anything better to do. Jorks. Alright, I'm guessing I go through here. Is that a giant egg? There's a machine over there. Yay! Success! Funny, someone who has still has their skin on. When the undead first appear, I thought it might be something, be some schema attempt at invading the village. But then the skeleton lord Jamushi showed up, and I knew something unusual was going on. So I snuck across the lake and tried to get a good look at him, and you'll never believe what I found. The skeleton lord is actually the resurrected body of Tarkesh, the legendary warrior of the half tribe. I don't know who raised him from the dead, but in life, Tarkesh was Jehound's brother in arms. Together they saved our village from the infamous Akasi, Achasi invasion 15 years ago. They were famous friends, always getting into adventures together, but our Mahra didn't trust him and always suspected that Tarkish was trying to steal his position. Then one day, Tarkish and the Mahra got into a heated argument over how best to lead our warriors. The Mahra threw into a rage and insulted Tarkish and his tribe. They were at each other's throats before anyone could stop them. In the end, both suffered severe injuries, but because Tarkish was a guest of our tribe, who had attacked Mahara himself, his crimes were carried far greater weight. 
Jehan tried his best to defend his friend and talk sense into the wounded Mahra, but the laws of our tribe were clear. Tarkesh was taken here to the Eye of Night and executed before the gods. I don't know why he has returned. For all I know, it could simply be an injustice of his death. But warrior Jahounds needs to know about the true identity of the skeleton lord Jamushi. Speak to him in cloud rain. Maybe there is still a way to put his old friend to rest. Ugh, he talked too much. I don't think I'll ever read those again. Except for the main story one. Okay, so Jamushi won't attack me. I can check out the machine. That's an interesting looking machine. That looks like a pretty cool machine. Okay, I have to report back to the here. The here. Oh, he's right here. Oh, I completely forgot that I was supposed to read it out loud. Don't bother fooling around with the machine again, as I hope you can see it's not the real problem around here. The problem is that magic circle beneath the machine. It's a transportation circle, but it it's powered by dark magic. Only a necromancer could have cast one that size. That machine probably wandered through the portal by mistake. It's the reanimated Farin that are the real problems. They were deliberately sent through the portal. I'm sure of it. Such evil. No wonder the Miss Fiends started acting up. I think this is going to be a long one. So I'm just going to pause real quick and let you guys read it. Yeah, now we can choose our last uh, class or skill set. So we have occultism, we have witchcraft. I think it only makes sense for us to go sorcery, but we can also go songcraft or revitalism or aromancy. Let's go with what I said first sorcery. Yeah. And we have become demonologists. That is our class right now. And we need to start picking some steps here. So I think hmm, Freezing Arrow and Flame Bolt are perfect because I think they have, yeah, they have a good synergy. So, we're going to select this, and we're going to select this, and I think, hmm, I don't know if Bubble Trap would be good. I think Bubble Trap is good once I have an electric uh, ability like this one. Because then I can inflict even more damage. So like Impale, Bubble, Lightning. That's pretty much what I'm going to go for. But for right now we have one extra skill point. I don't know what to use it on because this creates a protective board around the caster. The protection ward prevents those inside from being tripped and increased physical defense plus 700. Fails after absorbing 561 damage. Increases stealth protection plus 200%. That's pretty good. But this deals 260 magic damage and burns 213 mana over 5 seconds. Decreases received healing by 50% and increases duration of stun and trip. And this is just Impale, which is, uh, I think, pretty good. <sighs> I 
I really don't know. There's also this, which increases the max mana by 15%, which is like whatever. Okay, let's go with more damage. Alright, so that's our class. Let's test out our new skill set. Oh, that's a short range one. Alright, that was pretty good. But I don't know what is going on that... Yeah, let's try that again. Wow, that's actually a lot stronger than what I had before. Let's see. Long. This? Yeah, I actually like that a lot better. Time for us to get moving. Have no idea which way to go. So I guess we have to go back the way we came. Because I don't see there being a way out of here. As long as I don't get the right attack directly, I can keep running. Alright. Ooh, that was pretty intense. But yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna cut the video here. Uh, once I talk to these two story quest lines here coming up. Oh, I messed up. Okay, yeah, definitely I'm cutting the video here short because I did mess up. I was supposed to kill more of those undead Firins, which I didn't do. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, we did accomplish the goal for this, which was getting to level 10 and getting our third class. So, if you did enjoy it, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.